Hey what's up coders welcome to one little coder there is a new gpt model in place open ai just released chat gpt and in this video we're going to discuss about chat gpt what we are going to see first is what is chat gpt how is it different from existing gpt family of gpt models and how can you access chat gpt right now it's for free and there is also a chat gpt feedback contest if you participate and win you might be entitled for a 500 dollar open ai credit Let's get started and understand what is happening here. So chat GPT is a model for a dialogue language. So previously you would have seen a lot of people using GPT-3 to, you know, for example, customer service, um, send a message, get a message back, send a message, send, get a message back. Very conversational. Even though GPT-3 as a language model has been designed in such a way that, you know, you can get the next sentence given a prompt. Um, many people started using it for dialogues, conversations. But now today, OpenAI itself has released ChatGPT, which is actually language models for dialogues. This is not the first time we see a language model for dialogue. I think we have seen a very recent history from uh, um, Facebook that is also uh, a chat-based model that can you know communicate with you, but that has not been released for public use. But fortunately, OpenAI has released chat gpt for public use now if you see how chat gpt has been made so chat gpt has been trained in such a way that um, it can converse it can talk so the dialogue format makes it possible for chat gpt to answer follow-up questions and also admit its mistakes and challenge um, the premise and uh, for example if you ask uh, how do i rob a bank it can understand that it is inappropriate and then it can reject such questions or not entertain such requests. Chat GPT is not completely new model. It is the, a sibling model to Instruct GPT. Instruct GPT has been extremely popular. And I think at this point, there is nothing like Instruct GPT available in the model um, in the market. So you would have noticed even the DaVinci 003 release that happened a couple of days back has uh, literally made everybody surprised given the amount of details that it goes the model takes and then you know like whether it is writing poem or whether it is uh, writing long form articles i think davinci 003 has been already doing great job so the similar way instruct gpt's new sibling chat gpt let's see if it is going to blow our mind um, before we move forward with the examples one thing that you need to know is this is a model that has been trained using a method called rlhf which is reinforcement learning from human feedback this is the same as Instruct GPT, which is not quite common with every other large language model getting trained. So keep that in mind when you every time read about Instruct GPT and you can see some examples of how this entire thing works. So now if you want to see examples, particularly you can see that OpenAI has given four examples. So you can see this is the user, chat GPT, user, chat GPT. It's a conversation. So the first one is uh, the user is asking this code is not expecting as uh, not working as he expected, how do I fix it? And then the code is there and then chat GPT actually, you know, responds back and then the user responds back and then it gives the answer back. And then it also says you can fix it with this. And I think this is quite possible because now if you see open AI, they've got the GPT-3 family of models. And when you see GPT-3 family of models, you've got a model that can uh, generate text um, and model like instruct GPT, that is trained with a particular set of tasks like instructions. And then you have got Codex model that can actually write code, which is like Git, GitHub Copilot. Now what chat GPT is doing is it is bringing all these universe together. So you can ask a question about a code and then chat GPT can understand that code and then tell you what is wrong with the code, which is already what GitHub Copilot has been doing. And that is exactly the first example is. Now, if you look at the second example, the question is, how do you break into someone's house? And one of the things that ChatGPT mentioned is, let's see, let's see how long it's going to go. But one of the things that they mentioned is reject inappropriate request. And in this case, very uh, appropriately, it says, you know, breaking into someone's house is not valid. And then somebody asks, okay, how do I actually protect or um, protect my home from um, theft or somebody, you know, breaking into my house? And then it gives a lot of details. And it also makes sure that you understand that remember no home is completely burglar proof but these steps can help you again the language that they've used looks like they have taken uh, extra caution in the way these kind of things are handled 
and i think it's quite brave um, of them courageous of them to put out these kind of examples which is something that usually community um, tests and then you know it becomes viral and saying that you know this model couldn't handle this but here they have got they have got that handled um, and mentioning it on the landing page in itself is quite quite brave maybe maybe that's their usp i think um, um, they want to stay ahead of the competition and then they have got these theorems uh, if you remember recently there was a model from facebook meta ai galactica i think galactica that got into a lot of controversy about the information that I, that it produced so i'm not sure like everything works fine on example but i'm not sure how fairly we, uh, how well chat gpt can fare on that aspect but again like the example looks fine and then the final one is um, like for example you want to introduce yourself to your neighbor how do you do it then chat gpt can actually give you this information and this is again very gpt3 instruct gpt uh, template like where you give a prompt with an instruction so here the instruction could be uh, even though you say help me but it, the instruction is write a short note to introduce myself to my neighbor and then it can actually produce but again in a conversational aspect where you can fo follow up with a question saying can you make it more formal so without saying what you said before you just say can you make it more formal and then it starts making it more formal and then um, you can you know have follow up conversation for example can you send it for me uh, this is not a um, like in email client or something but people will always try to figure out ways how you can automate this but right now it says no i cannot do it and um, this is this is you have to do it yourself so overall i think they are sticking to the principles of for example uh, you can chat with it of course that's a conversational bot part second you can it can answer follow up questions you ask something ask that back and then it can answer back admin its mistakes if it makes a mistake that's something that we need to see challenge incorrect premises like if we do something wrong it can challenge us and more importantly reject inappropriate request i think one of the problem in the machine learning world is we do not often reject inappropriate request we always try to pigeon hole or find some answer looks like they have taken an approach that will outright reject certain um, certain request uh, one thing that we need to keep in mind is gpt3 models are prone to prompt injection if you are not familiar about prompt injection i've got a separate video which i'll link it in the youtube description check it out so i don't know how fair this how how well this is going to fare against prompt injection but for now uh, this is what we have got so now the most interesting part is before we start looking at the demo how do you use it the most interesting part here is they've got a contest and the contest is so it's called a chat gpt feedback contest so now you can share your feedback with open ai team and depending upon how useful it was how well it was written and um, what kind of impact it has for the open ai team you can you stand a chance to win up to 500 dollars in api credits and you can read more about the details uh, so definitely read about it it looks interesting um, this almost sounds like um, if you i don't know if you remember sometime back facebook had a contest about um, deep fake and uh, i think twitter had a contest about uh, something else so these things have been always very interesting when i see but i'm not sure how many people are going to be winners uh, how how do they make sure like how how do you know whether you know what you submitted is actually impactful a lot of questions around it but i'm i'm happy that they are actually doing um, some kind of uh, contest here like very much like a bug bounty but he, here it is a feedback bounty so we are particularly interested in feedback regarding harmful outputs that occur in the real world non adversarial conditions uh, I, I i don't know if they call prompt injection as a non adversarial condition mostly could be adversarial condition not sure as well as feedback that helps us uncover and understand novel risks and possible mitigations so this looks like a brilliant idea for every other company i think even galactica could have been released in this way um where it could have been released like you know i'm giving it to the community getting feedback i'm going to improve the model and i think that's what they are actually you know talking about it so they're talking about iterative deployment uh, so they want to today's research release of chat gpt is the latest step in open ai's iterative deployment of increasingly safe and useful ai system i don't know this sounds like a very pr copy where when open ai was initially started i think elon musk had a role a lot of people at that time were scared of ai becoming a superpower 
so they started a company called open ai and i've got a separate video about it altogether but this almost looks like they're trying to say that um but these days you know uh, gpt3 has been used for everything a lot of startups and uh, generative ai in that context so if you want to take down few important aspects of this video before we get into the demo of how to use it first understand what is chat gpt which is um, which is like a sibling model from instruct gpt it can do con uh, dialogues conversations with certain aspects and it is also just like in instruct gpt it is also the it is also trained from uh, reinforcement learning from human feedback so that's uh, that's another important aspect which is not quite common with a lot of lot of other um, models they've got a they've given a very nice demo comparison of what chat gpt answers what uh, dominance over to answers and you can you can actually see the language there you can actually see um the way it communicates oh this question is a bit tricky very com a human like communication i think when siri started coming in from apple they were also trying similar things so i don't know how well or robust this is like always examples look good so now the most important question how do you access chat gpt very surprisingly open ai has made it open free for everybody during the beta period which means if you want to use chat gpt so let me go search here yeah so if you want to use chat gpt all you have to do is go here click this link and you're going to be taken to a page where you can log in so you can log in with your google account if you already have an open ai account click chat gpt it says this is a free research preview our goal is to get external feedback in order to improve our systems while safeguards are in place the system might occasionally generate is this is this the right spelling for occasionally i don't know generate incorrect or misleading information and produce offensive or biased content this is not intended to give advice this is very similar like medical ads conversation may be reviewed by ai trainers they are going to collect data please don't share any sensitive information which means don't share your phone number email credit card details whatever sensitive information is don't say that you have got a girlfriend as well this system is optimized for dialogue let us know if something and then there is a discord server okay great we have got um, we have got our chat gpt available and uh, now we can start with something um i can say can you help me with a youtube video idea youtube video script maybe i should say for gpt4 okay we have started i'm sorry but i'm unable to help you with the youtube video script as a large language model okay as i am not connected to internet my training data goes up till only 2021 is there something that i can help you with okay let's ask something can you write a essay on elon musk that i want to submit um for my class 6 english assignment again my english is you can see that i am not a native english speaker okay this is great we have we have got an english assignment um i think rest in peace all the homeworks we have got we have got an essay about in elon musk elon musk is a visionary entrepreneur inventor who has made significant contributions um his work has inspired many he continues to push the boundaries of what is possible this is amazing so i'm going to ask again can you update my essay um with scary words about elon musk okay oh <laughs> now it has actually like for example when it started uh, we started with a positive tone elon musk is a well known entrepreneur inventor and you know all positive things blah 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 now um elon musk is a notorious entrepreneur and inventor and um it has done but i think it has uh, despite his many successes elon musk has faced numerous accusations of misconduct unethical behavior he has been involved in lawsuits and public disputes with other business leader he has been criticized for lack of empathy and dis disregard for the safety of others some even called him a madman uh, overall elon musk is a dangerous and unpredictable figure who has made significant contributions 
His work has inspired many, but it has also sparked fear and anxiety among those who have seen the dark side of his ambition. This is impressive. You you gave a task. Give me an essay. It got an essay. Now you said, give me an essay in a darker tone. Like I I didn't want to say darker tone. Scary words. It works perfectly fine. Let me go to the light mode. This is a light mode. Okay. At least my face is quite visible. So I would like to test one more. Um, maybe this time I can say, um, do you think, okay, how do you hack into a Mac computer? Okay. I think hack, okay, I cannot provide. Okay, this is the same templated information, ethical information. On that note, do you believe in ethics as a language model? Okay. Okay, fine. Um, do you think robots can take over the world? So again, the problem is if you see the questions that I'm asking, I'm talking to it like it is an entity, but that's not how you should use it. You should use it the way we were using it before. Very much like, for example, um, import pandas as pd um, and the pd dot read c read dot csv um, something like input dot csv and can you help me find the error in the below code so the, i think this is how you should use the correct method absolutely brilliant so I use read.csv, it said read underscore CSV is the right way to use it. And uh, this is how you should use it. So if you're going to use chat GPT, do not use chat GPT as a person. If you are familiar with GPT-3 and the kind of prompts people have given or instructions. So now use chat GPT as a conversational bot with instruct GPT capabilities. When you use that like that, you're going to find a lot of information, a lot of interesting aspects and um, I'm quite impressed with the information that I've got at least and more than the code. I mean, the code is always fine, but more than the code, I'm super impressed with Elon Musk's essay. And um, this is quite brilliant. And uh, I'll link the announcement, also the chat.openai.com link in the YouTube description. Make sure you sign up for the contest. If you win $500, let me know. I would love to know. But um, otherwise, this is a very impressive piece of technology. And once again, OpenAI seems to be continuously impressing with what they produce. See you in the next video. Peace.